What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast. Today we got the last episode of the Bears Draft Prospect series on the channel and it will be all about the safety position. The safety position right now in the Bears is pretty thin. We have Eddie Jackson, our former All-Pro safety who struggled the last couple of years and that's basically it. DeAndre Houston Carson, Dion Bush and Tashawn Gibson are all upcoming free agents and for me we should only re-sign DHC because he has so much special teams value, he's like the Sherrick McManus of uh, this time, and he's just constantly improving on defense, he gets better every year it seems like, and as soon as he's on the, on the field, it seems like he is making plays. Dion Bush for me is a guy that we should definitely let walk, he had his time in Chicago, uh, never really got the starting job, and I think it's time to move on, he will be more expensive than a rookie, so I think his time with Chicago is up. And Tashawn Gibson played solid football in Chicago, but we need a true starter next to Eddie Jackson, someone that can go down in the box as a secure tackle, covers well, just a great guy to secure uh, the secondary of uh, the Bears. So Tashawn Gibson for me is definitely a candidate to let walk. And now you have a very thin safety room. Free agency this year offers some good talent with guys like Jordan Whitehead, former Buccaneer, and uh, J. Ron Curse, former Cowboy and also Lion. Two guys I've mentioned in my free agency video a couple of weeks back. Two guys I like a lot. But the draft is also a very good option to acquire safeties because they're kind of undervalued. So you can get them in the later rounds. And I think this year's safety class offers a lot of great guys that could potentially immediately start next to Eddie Jackson and have impact on the team. So today I got five safeties with me that I've looked through and I'm very excited to break these down for you guys. Let's get right into it. The first guy I want to talk about is Jaquan Brisker from a Penn State, six foot one, 200 pounds. And with him, it was kind of tough to decide if he will make the list because he got a lot of first round buzz, but I looked through some mock drafts and through some other scouting websites and I think he will have uh, really potential to still be there at the Bears pick in round two. So let's get right into his traits. What does he do very well? He's a physical safety with great tackling, a great competitor, amazing athlete. He is amazing against the run, shedding blocks well and has great tackling angles, great reaction time, he covers well in man-to-man -man situations and has really the ability to lock down tight ends, which is super important in the modern NFL because tight ends play a bigger and bigger role, it seems like, every, every year. And every year we add another really freakishly athletic tight end. So you need physical and very athletic safeties and linebackers that can take over the role of covering these guys. And I think ja uh, Jaquan Brisker definitely has the ability to do that. He also has great awareness in pass and run situations, no matter if it's his zone assignments, his running lanes, he shoots gaps well, he has fast, quick feet and great change of direction, and he's always, I mean always around the ball when you watch his tape, and if he's not directly making a play, at least ready if there's a broken tackle to wrap up and make the play afterwards. Some areas for improvement, he's too upright sometimes when tackling, and he can be stiff uh, in his hips at times when he wants to change direction but those are minor issues he's one of the more complete safeties coming out of the draft conclusion he's projected first to second rounder with like i said the potential to fall into round two because of positional value safeties aren't valued as other positions in the draft so he could definitely fall into round two and he's a safety with amazing coverage skills for the modern nfl he's a great competitor uh, that brings physicality to the field and tackles with bad intentions. That's what you want to see. A guy that really loves to play safety. And he's an all-around great physical talent. If he falls into round two, I would actually love to pick up, even with other needs that are more important. Would I like O-line receiver and uh, maybe cornerback more in these situations? Definitely. But would Brisker be a bad pick? Absolutely not. He would be the perfect fit for the Bears defense, a guy that can play down in the box without issues as well as no problem in coverage, huge upside, and I got to say, I'm a fan of this player, I would absolutely love this guy in any round. The next guy I want to talk about is Jalen Petrie from Baylor. He's right up with uh, Jaquan Prisker for me, 
and he's six foot one, one ninety seven, so a bit on the smaller frame, smaller size side. But he's also a very physical safety with lots of versatility. Played safety in corner and held his own in either position. He's a great tackler that can lay the wood. Amazing in the box. He blitzed a lot at Baylor and displayed great gap awareness like he did everything at Baylor. He was their bread and butter on defense. Uh, He gets off the blocks well, especially for a more undersized safety. He has great hips and fast footwork. He's patient when the ball is in the air. He doesn't panic. Highly competitive, good in coverage, and has the speed to recover quickly. Uh, He has great reaction time and has very good ball skills as well. Cons for him, he doesn't have the top end speed. And he can over-pursue and miss tackles at times. He also could improve in coverage, especially with his hip transition. It isn't always smooth. It can cost him some balance issues. He's projected a second rounder who also got some first round buzz. And I think he's actually first round talent. But same with Brisker. He will fall into round two probably. And even with scouts questioning how his size combined with his playing style will translate to the pros. I think Petrie is a very good prospect. I think he will be a great player in the NFL. I wouldn't mind the pick in round two either. Uh, Because he's such a versatile weapon that you can align everywhere on the field. He's a great fit next to Eddie Jackson. And if he keeps improving, it would be a scary duo. Uh, But safety is definitely a smaller need. And I would prefer some positions over him. But still a great prospect overall. Amazing player with huge awareness and physicality. Third player on the list is Kirby Joseph. 6'1", 200 pound safety from Illinois. What's good about him? He's Always around the ball, that's what you see instantly on tape. Uh, He has the ability to make plays with his long arms and frame. He undercuts routes with great timing, has great coverage skills. He displayed good zone awareness at times and read the QB well. He played free safety as well as down in the box, so he's very versatile as well. He has great hips and footwork, great tackler. He made plays at the line of scrimmage a lot. Uh, He is explosive and speedy, and he has high-end range with super long arms. What's not so good about him? Some areas of improvement would definitely be he lacks reaction time at times, especially with misdirections, read options, reverses. He can be caught uh, freezing in these situations, and it will cause him being late to making plays. He needs to improve shedding blocks, and he's a good physical tackler, but sometimes his angles and effectiveness need improvement. He's a projected, I would say, third rounder. Uh, Would be amazing in round three if he somehow drops to round four even. It would be the perfect pick. Uh, So the Bears should definitely consider trading up for him. But no matter what, in both rounds, he would be a very valuable player to to get. Amazing, talented player. Uh, Instant starter next to Eddie Jackson and has high upside that could become very good with the right coaching. He definitely needs some improvement in the run game, but is a very well-developed coverage guy already. So lots of talent there. Love Kirby Joseph, very good player. The fourth player I want to talk about today is Lewis Seen, six foot one, 200 pounds from Georgia. And oh my God, this guy is an absolute tackling machine. Uh, super aggressive, hard-hitting safety, like, very physical player I would say even the most physical on the list yet even though all of those guys are super hard hitting guys that's what definitely is standing out from scene uh great feet with fast reactions he's great at the line of scrimmage with good speed and explosiveness great zone awareness great hip sync uh, I, I like his coverage skills a lot either in zone and man coverage and just a multi-weapon that blitzed at the line of scrimmage Played so deep coverage, too high in the slot. He has great awareness where the ball is on misdirections, reverses, etc. He really reacts very fast and quickly. Always around the ball and good size and above average length. Cons about him, he sometimes gets caught tackling too upright and struggles with balls thrown above his head. He lacks the ability to turn his head around, so he gets lost of the ball, which can lead to flags and big plays. And his coverage is promising, but he definitely needs refinement. He's a projected third rounder, and I would love this prospect. Like, Seen is a scary, physical, heart-hitting safety with tons of potential. 
He displayed his amazing ability to stuff the run, as well as promising signs as a coverage safety. Between him and Joseph, it's tough for me to decide who I like more. Joseph is better in coverage, seeing how plays him in the run game. But nonetheless, two amazing guys that could be available in round three and potentially round four. Depends on Poles and Iberflus, which safety type they prefer next to Eddie, but it would be a lovely pick, add tons of physicality to our defense, something we definitely need. And the last guy I want to talk about is Nick Cross, six foot one, 215 pounds, so the heaviest player yet, out of Maryland. He's a bigger framed safety with excellent length. Uh, the former track star also possesses great explosive speed and athleticism. When you look at the West Virginia tape, there was a play where he came down all the way from the back with blazing speed to cover the running back and absolutely laid the wood on him, making him to drop the ball. Amazing play from him. There he displayed his track star uh, speed and explosiveness. Physical safety with great tackling, technique, and angles. He can lay the wood and attacks runners aggressively, and he has great hips and display good reaction time to breaking routes. Also, he is a well open field tackler and reads gaps well when in the box. Areas for improvement would be his tackling technique needs improvement at times because he often wants to blindly shoulder tackle guys instead of cleanly wrapping up, and he can get caught uh, looking in reverse play action, misdirection situations, which will cause him to be late to make plays uh, on the field. He's projected fourth to fifth round due to the positional value. He would be a more of a developmental player with huge upside, but could start right away potentially. Uh, he also offers experience on special teams, which is intriguing with his speed as well. He doesn't offer the same versatility as the prospects mentioned before, but he displayed great coverage ability and showed promising signs as a run defender. He would be a home run pick in the later rounds and is a very talented player with starter potential, even though he might take a year or two to fully unlock his potential. So those were the five prospects that I wanted to mention for the safety position in the upcoming draft. There are also some other interesting prospects that didn't make the list, but that wraps up the Bears draft prospect series here on the channel. It was so much fun making these videos, scouting these players. I can't tell you enough how excited I am for the upcoming draft. So many great guys and I hope the Bears make the right pick and the right decision, but I'm very faithful into Ryan Pulse. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this last episode. Next episode will probably be the first Bears mock draft of the 2022 NFL offseason for me. It will be pre-free agency, so there will obviously be one after that as well. Also, the combine is coming up, so very interesting time. I'm thinking about making an update video on some prospects, how they perform on the combine or something in that kind of way. But I'm not sure yet. That's up to the future. But like and subscribe if you like the video. Check out Instagram for the latest news. And as always, guys, bear down.